I had two kind of key role models growing up, both of whom were female. I think that's coloured a lot of my life. My mum worked um, really long hours when I was younger as a single mum, so my, uh, my nan, my gran, Granji I call her, raised me a lot through my early years. She was also a really kind of strong, independent woman. Between mum and nan, I had these two kind of amazing role models who were kind of them against the world. They could achieve anything they wanted to do and they definitely inspired that kind of feeling in me. My mum definitely inspires me, the strength that she has. My other half definitely inspires me, Steve. He's a really, really great support and just an all-round great human being. When I started to think about my own career, I never felt any barriers and I'm, I'm sure that that's a big part of having them around me. I think I wanted to be a nurse. Throughout adolescence, all of my friends were kind of in performing arts, so whether some of them are now on television, the West End, Broadway. That wasn't for me, not least because I'm uh, five foot three and don't have the physical attributes to go and be a ballerina. I was delighted when I kind of got into Cambridge to read law and had a fabulous time there. Towards the end of my course at university, I realised that law probably wasn't for me. I really had a big hunger of pace, energy, uh, the commercial thrill of the chase, wanting to be in the heart of the business world. And that was quite a tough call for me actually at the end of Cambridge. I'm somebody who tries to live with no regrets. I think kind of the colourful canvas that is your life and your career, you get, you get elements from each and every different experience that you have. When you're driven, you want to achieve great things, it's really easy to be pretty hard on yourself. Know what you bring, endorse your own strengths, don't always focus on the stuff that you're not so great at because someone else is probably going to bring that and if you're working in a diverse environment, you don't all need to be the same. I'm a massive believer in everyone brings something different and you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. I think the most powerful trait a woman can have is self-belief. Never believe in a stereotype. Believe in yourself, believe in your abilities. Everyone's a human being. Doesn't matter whether you're male or female. Know your strengths and bring them.